Good morning. Welcome to the Law and Mental Health Conference. I'm Jason Renault. I'm the conference coordinator. This year, again, we're taking a look at the definition of mobile crisis, along with the Alternative Mobile Services Association. You could also call it community response or alternative outreach or a hundred different ways of saying basically the same thing. But the truth is, is that teams are already underway pretty much in every city in the United States, either in an advanced planning stage or already operating community-based alternatives to police. Who's on the team is usually defined by conversations at the policy and political level. Should the team have licensed clinicians? Should the team have EMTs? Should the team have peers, people with lived experience? All defined by local politics seeking local outcomes. But as it turns out, if you're a politician or an EMT or a peer, doesn't matter as much as can you hustle? Can you every day make a friend out of pretty much nothing at all? Can you stick out your hand, make eye contact, say your name, and ask someone, how's the weather? Or what's your shoe size? Or have you had anything to eat in the past 24 hours? Hustle is a talent that some people are born with. We have it. In this business, you need it. So hustle is also a definition of mobile crisis. Another definition is helping each other to do better. So I invite your team to join the Alternative Mobile Services Association. It's an emerging membership association with the uh, purpose of researching, assessing, identifying different best practices uh, of mobile crisis. Uh, also, the Alternative Mobile Services Association promotes networking and cooperation among stakeholders interested in these alternatives to conventional policing. And I'll put the URL for this organization in the chat so you can look at it and see if you'd like to join. It's been a lot of fun curating the set of speakers for you. The program shows the complexity of definition in the maturity of programs. Some are older, some are newer. In the sizes of cities, Baltimore is a big city. Chicago is a big city. Cities like Dayton, Madison, Portland were a little bit more relaxed. Some teams accept a higher risk level. Some work closely with law enforcement. Some are at arm's length. Some cities have social problems created by a lack of health care housing. We meet some people who are so sick they need hospital level of care, and there's no hospital to treat them. These are big problems outside of the control of the team and outside of the control of the individual. And those can make us very cynical. So I also am thrilled to hear from optimists today, like Dr. Shoyenka of Philadelphia, who will explain how his attention to 988 has helped grow the capacity of Philadelphia's entire uh, crisis system, including mobile crisis services for people with mental illness and addiction. Or Steve Michio of New York State, who will talk about how his agency's outreach team are all peers, people with lived experience. Or from my old friend, uh, Professor Mitzi Waltz of the University of Amsterdam, who will talk about how people in crisis we're seeing on the streets who have narrow divergency and how understanding them and helping them requires a whole new toolkit. Uh, no less hustle, but just a different hustle. And I'm really excited to learn and hear from professors Jamela Morgan and Jordan Jensen of Northwestern University talk about critical disability theory. Critical disability theory is a new lens, a new academic created lens that we can help us understand how the law has shaped our common understanding of disability and how the law has disenfranchised many of those persons it purports to protect. I hope you enjoy these two days of uh, sessions and keynotes. Listen, the magic of an online conference is that it's recorded, entirely recorded. We'll have the both two days available for you uh, here on these YouTube channels um, for all of the month of July and the month of August. So you can uh, take a break if you need one, go answer a call, go make a friend, but come back and watch the rest of the conference. Thanks for attending.